Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. In today's video, we're gonna explore the new version that I got last night, 12.5.6.4. Let's check it out. This is version 12.5.6.4. The only major difference that I saw in the notes was that they're requesting data for sounds for like emergency vehicles and things like that to help train the model to recognize emergency vehicles. So there's definitely an earlier slowdown for that speed bump there. And a bit of a harsh slowdown here at the stop sign. This turn feels about the same. You had a car in front of us here, you had another speed bump coming up. go nice slow down for this speed bump very well executed all right we should be just pulling right out perfect it's picking up this road speed limit of 15 which is accurate and we're gonna see how it does on the uh, country line road county line road Sometimes it picks up the wrong speed limit here. It should be 35, so I hope it doesn't stay at 15. Here we go, making a right. Nobody coming from the left. Excellent. All right, speed limit did not change. All right, it's driving the correct speed limit, but the speed limit sign on the map is still showing 15. I'm in a little bit under, so I'm going to push the accelerator to get it to 35. I went back down to 33. Let's go. Come on. 35, that's the speed limit. All right, now it's all brave all of a sudden. It's going 37. There we go. This should update the speed limit. A little bit of a slowdown for the railroad tracks. Last time it slowed down a little bit more in advance for the railroad tracks on the last version. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things happened since uh, I made the last video. The stock is up over four hundred dollars. Uh, congratulations to all the Tesla holders, Tesla stockholders. I'm very curious to see what 25, 2025 brings on that front. Also, there's a lot of news about the uh, robo-taxi and uh, how efficient it will be. They're definitely going to be making some adjustments to it to make it super easy to build and a lot cheaper to produce because it's kind of going to be basically half the parts they said and that's due to it's missing you know a whole back seat it's going to be a, a little bit slower it's probably not going to be as zippier you know basically they're just dialing everything back because it doesn't need to be going, you know, 150 miles an hour. And it doesn't need acceleration speed of zero to 60 in three seconds. You know, it's just gonna be a robo taxi driving people from A to B. So it doesn't need any of that. So they can probably use the smaller motors, smaller battery back, because they can just charge more often between short trips while it's in its downtime. And, uh, you know, they don't have to have as big of a cooling system for the battery if the battery pack is gonna be smaller. I think they're reporting like 75 kilowatt hours, I believe. So, it's, uh, it's exciting. And there's no back seat, so that whole thing's gone. There's no steering wheel, there's no pedals. I watched the, uh, Monroe live video and they went over just the steering wheel alone, like steering wheel column and all those parts 
just in parts is like seven hundred dollars of savings per per vehicle. So they don't have to have a back seat. They don't have any buttons in the Robo Taxi except for the the mirrors. Oh, I'm sorry for the uh, side side. Jeez, uh, why can't I think of it? With the glass in the door. And um, those buttons are required by NHTSA to have them on the door handle. So they'll have those. But other than that, it's just two seats. And they went with bench seats, so it's easier to clean the vehicle. And uh, they do have cup holders in the center console there, at least in the pictures that I saw. And the, the reason they went with bench sheets is going to be a lot easier to clean the vehicle. You know, there's no center console or anything um, in the in the between the seats and the on the floor here, so it's just going to be a straight shot. So they actually have a robot that will automatically clean the vehicle. So I'm sure they're going to be selling that robot as well to anyone who has a fleet that wants to have the robot clean their the car for them. So I think that'll be a new line of business, but we shall see. So far it's driving really well on this version. It did that turn really well, pre-stage nice and early, and uh, it's doing a good job here at the light. I'm gonna slow down there for that car. Wasn't sure if it was gonna try to cut in front of us. Other than that, it's doing really well. And uh, they also said when they're when they're cleaning the uh, robo taxi, you just be able to do everything from one side. So you'll just open one door, um, and you'll be able to clean the seats, clean the floor, just vacuum straight through the vehicle. Um, and uh, I, I know I was concerned about the doors. Um, you know how they open, and will they be able to open in parking spots and stuff like that? But uh, they basically said that you won't you won't, you won't really need to have both doors open for cleaning, so that's not a concern. And the width of the doors are not like when the doors are open on the vehicle. So the vehicle itself, the Robo Taxi, is uh, a little bit narrower, and when the doors open, the butterfly doors, uh, they're not bigger in width than a Model S with the door half open enough for a person to come out. So they did think of that. So I will see how it works in practice, but um, it's, uh, you know, we're just kind of wait and see. Uh, another interesting fact is usually uh, to get the the doors, the butterfly doors working um, with the door going up and out. Usually you need like four hinges, but they were able to reduce that to one hinge, like one pivot point on the door. And they just have like a, um, a strut that pushes the door up and out basically. So that's another reduction in parts. So essentially their whole goal was to get down to the smallest amount of weight and least number of parts. And uh, I believe it's gonna be like a thousand pounds lighter than the Model 3, which is a huge accomplishment. All right, we are at our destination. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.